Hello everyone, it's Rocky and thank you so much for joining my channel. Today is a product review kind of day. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing I want to review is something I'm super excited to bring to you because I am officially shooketh. And that's the biblical form of being shook. <laughs> And it is this thing called unbrush. Now I've been seeing a lot of, you know, curly hair girlies talking about this. And I honestly, you know, there's always some sort of influencer hype around things. You, you don't know what you can really believe. And so I, because I, I have the luxury of not giving an F about people's opinions or, you know, making sure people like me, I'm always going to tell you the truth. And so Every time there has been a brush hype of some sort, I've, you know, kind of followed suit to see if it was really the real deal and if it really did make my life better. So in the past, I've tried the Tangle Teaser. I don't know if you all remember this from back in the day. It has all these bristles in here. And when you brush your hair, it goes she makes all these crazy noises and will I say that it was easier than any other brush I've used in the, in the past any like wet brush or anything not necessarily it's really hard to manage because of you know once your hands get wet or slippery this is hard to hold um, it caused me so much anxiety because of how much noise it made and you still had to be very careful in terms of how you comb from bottom to top to not rip your hair out there was still breakage there was still hair that came out which I attribute it to this being shed hair, but I'm not really sure. I just convinced myself, right? The next one that I bought into was the Easy Detangler. I'm, I'm sure you all remember this one. The appeal about this is that the brush bristles supposedly move with you. It has, um, you know, brush bristles like you would find on any other wet brush, but this one, the each row of bristles is separated so that it doesn't pull and tug at your hair now for this one i found that it worked slightly better but it still required you know the careful bottom to top again didn't it didn't cause me anxiety with all the ripping and fuss that this one caused but when i got my hands on these and tried these out i still after maybe one or two uses landed on finger detangling all right so which brings us to the unbrush. Let me show you what it looks like here. It's very, very simple. It's like, um, it's super, super light. It's lighter than these two, even though this is small, it is actually lighter. It's like, it gives me like a, um, like I could play sports or something with it, like ping pong or something. It's like really wide and loose and it feels very good to the hand, to the palm. Um, it has like these big wide holes here in the back and these big long wide spread apart bristles that are at varying heights and such. I picked blue, there's all these different colors. None of that is relevant at the moment. I immediately wanted to test this out when I got it, so I, did. I couldn't wait for, the, for, for us to get on camera, and this was yesterday. So I've had these twists in my hair, and I'm ashamed to mention this. I've had these twists in my hair for two weeks. I put them in my hair when I went to Virginia, like the last day that I was there. And so what I did was I took you know, two, two of my twists from the back sections and tested it out there. Well, I originally started with this one. So I, you know, sprayed a little water on it and I just started brushing and I was like screaming and going crazy about it. And my husband's like, what is all the fuss? So I was like, it's super easy. Oh my gosh, I've never been able to brush through my hair this easily before, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, whatever. And I said, well, let me show you an example. So I took another strand and showed him and I just tried to do it with this brush and I, you know, put some little water on it, went to town on it and I couldn't even get the brush through. I was just like, it got stuck, it got stuck. And he's just like, it looks like you're making it do that. And I'm like, no, it's literally, I'm just not going to rip my hair out, but it's literally caught and stuck. So then I said, okay, same, same spot, same brush. And it was like, whoosh, went right through. So what I'm gonna do is show you today what that experience was like. So I'm gonna take, you know, let me see, what piece can you see really well? You can see this piece really well. And so all I did was unravel this twist. Again, these have been twisted, um, unfortunately, for two weeks now. And this is, they're really gnarly. And so what I've, on, the only thing that I did in terms of like pre-prepping for this, which is what I would do anyway, is make sure I get any shed hair out of it. So I literally just untwist it and then rub my, run my fingers through. And you can't see it, but I'm pulling out like one one strand here or there just to kind of get it 
un ungnarly, unmangled. That's what kind of causes the locking, to, you know, to happen. Um, your shed hair gets caught in between the coils of your hair here, and it locks. They lock between each other. They love each other so much, and they start locking. So I've gotten that piece managed out and so let me get this one is a little gnarly too i can if your finger can't just like glide smoothly across your hair that's how you know you have a little some matting and gnarly stuff going on in there i still have a little bit in there but we gonna we gonna see what this brush does so i'm gonna take my water all right so we've 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 moistened it and so this is this is this brush so Interestingly, that just went through and probably not a good. Okay. Yeah, so this is caught I'm not gonna pull it so it doesn't you know break my hair or anything But it got caught it, and I tried for a second time. It is caught now take this brush same same, you know experience on the end Oh, this one's a little caught, but look I'm able to get it through and then nothing Nothing came out and that's the thing with my hair like if even if I were to force it through look at this there's absolute, I've never been able to run, a, even after I've done detangling it, it tangled. And I have friends who have been like, your hair can't be like that. And they do my hair and they, they untangle it. Two seconds later, they go back to do something else to that same spot they detangle and it's back tangled. Look at it. I have never been able to run a brush through my hair like this, ever. I do have some shed hair in the comb. I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not. I do have some shed hair, but that shed hair is not like, normally I have big like knots and clumps where my hair has broken and come, in, come out, like the whole knot comes out. It doesn't detangle, it's not pulling just the shed hair. Magic. Ma I have never had a brush or comb or even my fingers that has been able to do this with this quality and not just tear me up or leave me with a lot of knots left. So. That all said, the first thing I'm reviewing, I wanted to demonstrate it for you, is this unbrush. It's very um, affordable. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below to make your life easier. I get zero commission because I am not, um, what do you call, influencer enough to get commission from Amazon. So there's no ulterior motive when I'm sharing things with you. I don't get anything. So I love this brush. The next thing I want to try with you is yet another product. You'll see my hair is kind of sticking up right here because I, this is the section I'm going to try it on. I I saw, um, I think on a list of best hair products with slip for curly hair girlies or coily hair girlies, this Marc Anthony Grow Long Super Fast Strength Leave-In Conditioner. It detangles, reduces breakage, frizz and split, in, it split ends, and it has caffeine and ginseng in it. This was rated among the top and most economical for having like a lot of slip and being able to detangle your hair. So I wanted to test that out today. So I'm going to get another one of these pieces. We're doing this live on camera. <laughs> Nothing's being cut, edited. So you get my pure unadulterated response to this stuff. And the other things I show you today are not going to be demonstrated. Um, they're just my follow-up because I hauled them for you, but I never did try them for you. So I want you to know my opinion on those things as well. So here we go again. I'm doing the fair thing that I always do with my hair. I try to get the shed hair out, get all the gnarly, gnarly bits out. And that's the smart thing to do if you want to retain any length. You want to make sure you reduce the snagging and um, possible self-inflicted breakage. So this, um, I think I got most of the gnarly out. Feel a little bit more. And I'm going to do just like I would do any other time. Normally, um, with a leave-in conditioner situation, I would have just washed my hair. Um, so it would already be... It would already be, you know, washed and somewhat detangled, pretty much finger detangled, but we going from wet to tangled. So it's already been wet. We're pretending as if I just got out the shower. Okay, so it's a bit of a fine spray. Smells lovely. Admittedly can't see what I'm doing. We're going by gut feel if I'm getting it on my hair correctly. What we're gonna do is go in with the magic brush, of course. And let's see, you know, um, I feel like this is worse than water. So you might have seen just the last section that I did with just water in this brush. And what I feel like is that this product creates 
more of a like um, a gumminess rather than a slip and what it's doing is it's sticking the knots in here together like making them hug onto each other a little bit more versus just water and it allows my um yeah see i gotta kind of work this a little carefully i could i can't do it how i was doing with just just the water also what i'm feeling like is it takes um a bit of the the body because there's so much product it takes the body away from the hair as well as you can see it's like the curls are popping look at these curls though um but it takes the like now it shrinks it all together makes it much shorter and the volume of the hair is much smaller so i guess if you have a lot of hair and you're trying to make your hair smaller you know how some people say big hair don't care i don't have that much hair so i need i need to try to make my hair look bigger so this makes my hair look much much smaller and yeah i'm not sure i'm not sh hmm. i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm not sure it made my um detangling experience now that i had this brush right I don't think it made my detangling experience any better um, than with just water and yeah all right now that we've gotten the hair out of the way I want to follow up on a couple other products um, I read an article and I think this is my problem I need to stop reading these articles but I read an article about the best sort of you but better type of fragrances the things that um, are made of that are molecular scents or pheromones and that are attractive to the opposite sex and so I have a couple of them. I have Molecule 01 and I have Glossy AU. And people find those two fragrances irresistible. So I thought, why not have a play with things on that list? And these two came up um, and they were available on Amazon, super affordable. I think one might have been $16, the other might have been $20 or $23, something to that effect. The first one is Pure Instinct Pheromone Unisex Perfume Oil, and this is the original, and that's what they specifically called out in that article. And this one is called Basic Instinct Pure Romance Sex Attractant. And this is the specific one that they called out, because these both lines have various different fragrances, but these were the two that were called out. I've tried both. I've gotten zero compliments, no one noticed it, nothing like Glossy AU or Mo Mo Molecule 01 from Eccentric Molecules. Um, those two are attention getters. Like I said, if you don't want any attention or don't want to talk to people or don't want people to approach you, don't put those on that day. Uh, but if that's what you're going for, you want to attract people, male and female, I would say like to a networking event and you're pretty shy but you want people to come to you, wear those. These had zero effect. And I don't really like how they smell on their own. It would definitely be something you have to let. No, um, not that I don't like them on their own. They're not my favorite. <laughs> but I feel like if it were something that actually got a reaction out of people, it would be worth wearing and then layer it with something else that you do find to be attractive yourself personally. So you can skip these. My, my point is, <laughs> pure instinct and this pure romance, basic instinct thing, you can skip both of them. Although they didn't cost very much money, I mean, they don't do what they claim to do, so don't get them. The next things I want to talk about are a follow-up to kind of sort of finish, um, my review on my advent calendar products that i got i did all through vlogmas every day i opened one of these things from the vlogmas calendar from uh the body shop and i didn't try them at that time i just opened them up with you and moved on with my content and then since then i've been kind of slowly but surely testing every product and i think i've gotten through everything so far the first thing i want to talk about is this um chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask wonderful beautiful when i got done my face was glowing it's not something that you even scrub in which i thought you know is what would normally kind of illuminate your skin and give you that clarifying glow because you slough off the dead skin and all that i didn't have to do that i put it on as normal put my mask on as normal and wash it off very carefully because i don't like to scrape at my skin with any products or anything because you can get micro tears and cause more damage to your skin scarring and acne and all that stuff than you had before you even <laughs> scrubbed your skin so i don't like to do that and so I was very careful with this and when I got done when I tell you my face was glowing it was glowing so I definitely recommend this as a maybe like a once a week kind of a thing but it was a good product. The next one I used was this 
cream body scrub is an avocado um, scrub for dry skin and i do have dry skin all the time because i hate water i absolutely not yeah shocker yeah i hate water it tastes nasty and it's for rich um rich and smoothing exfoliation and what i did notice about this and i'll show this on a cutaway hopefully i'll remember to do that is that it browns a bit like after i opened it it started to brown a bit as if this is actually avocado so i'm thinking there's really avocado in here and they didn't they should have put a little bit of the like the avocado um seed in there to keep it from browning maybe they did i don't know but it browns a little bit like avocado so that gives me that's heartening to see that they're using real products and, and ingredients that they actually claim to be using it looks like they're using it has a um I don't know if this is a synthetic looking, artificial looking green color. Nonetheless, my point in saying all of that is that it works. It does hydrate the skin. It does exfoliate the skin, all of the things it claims to do. So this I would recommend if you're looking for something for your body, not your face now, your body to do a scrub. This is wonderful and I think um, for what my eye can tell me, these look, look to be in, um, natural and true ingredients being used in the scrub. Next thing I want to talk about is this almond milk for dry sensitive lips, lips lip care stick. Um, um, it works. I mean, it's it's mo like most other sort of lip balms. Um, and it gives me, I don't know what's in it. It makes me feel like it's cocoa butter based. And I don't know for sure you know what the base for this is it, it does say have has almond milk in it but i don't know what else but it gives me if you have you ever if you've ever used cocoa butter based things that's what this gives me a feel of um but it, it works it does what it's supposed to do now are you missing anything by not having this no does it change your life no does it do what it's supposed to do yes for that reason if you are out and about and you need something on your lips go ahead and grab it i wouldn't say it's crap don't waste your money but it's not life-changing last thing i want to talk about is this um shea shea hand balm i have it in several fragrances um actually and um i didn't use this yet so i want to use this right now with you on camera and i'll tell you if it works because um why not why not the present <laughs> To give you a present let's see this is not as thick as the other creams that they have this is this is a bit more shiny than the body cream or was it i don't know what it's called the body cream that i had like the strawberry one is not as um thick as that um is not as matte actually it is matte as soon as it was coming on it was a little shiny but it is matte okay verdict not that great for melanated skin so you can skip this melanated people you can skip the hand cream um it it, it it barely knocks off the ash and i see the ash coming back here in my problem areas i put some on here it ain't it ain't it ain't this ain't it <laughs> All right, so that brings me to the end of the product reviews for today. I always got something I'm running my mouth about, so come on back if you enjoyed this. I always have more. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button, share it with a friend. Bye.